if any of you have been following my channel since February 2024, you may have seen a couple of little bits from me talking about headphones at the end of some of my recordings. Well, this is another one, and I'm trying out something brand new for me. I've never ever used them in 35 plus years of DJing in nightclubs. I've never ever tried in-ear monitors, not properly, not professional ones. So I picked up a pair of Shure, a couple of things I've noticed. So just some feedback from me, trying them for the first time ever. I've got a gig coming up in about, I've got three three more weekends to prep before I DJ to about 2,000 people at the Marshall Arena with Peter Andre, E17, and lots of boy bands um, from the 90s and noughties, A1, 911, Blazing Squad. And I thought I'd try some in-ear -ear monitors, but just now, just at home, I've got no monitors or speakers set up. You're hearing a direct feed when I record the mix. It's straight out of the mixer, straight into the camera. I don't actually even have any speakers or monitors on. I am listening to everything the same as you. I'm listening through the headphones. Just using the cue on the master channel. I'm obviously queuing up the tracks as well to get the mixes right. But something I noticed with these, for me, I kept losing the bass, the low end, which when you're trying to mix dance music and trying to make sure the beats are on point, that was a bit of a fail. So I wasn't really happy with that, to be completely honest with you. It's okay if I get, you know, if I get the position right in the right inside the ear, but then I found they were slipping. And then sometimes whilst I was in the mix, which is the most crucial time I needed to hear, you know, the low end, the beats. Um, I did see a video on YouTube recently after sort of reviewing these and how to use them. Someone said, don't put the cable around the front, make sure it's around the back. I thought that was just for aesthetics, but to be completely honest with you, if I can give you another tip on this one. So some of you would have seen this hanging down the front at the beginning of the video. I did then think to throw it behind my back like so uh, later on in the video. I do have to say, forget the aesthetics, it was freaking annoying when this was around the front. And I don't know why, you see my hairy back now when I show you, but this really kept rubbing against the, the back of my neck. Not clever. There is, there is a slider on the cable. Might need to zoom in on this. There is a slider on the cable. So the concept is keep it loose, hang it over the, so go around the back, hang it on the ears, place them in, position them so you've got them right. And then what you do is you tighten up the slider so that there's very little room uh, for slippage at the back. And that is supposed to keep the in ears in place. But like I said, I was losing the bass. For me, they were slipping. Maybe I need to change the the tips. Maybe it's just a tip issue. If I change the tips around, that might work. So you know my waxy ears. <laughs> um, but the, the sound quality, absolutely phenomenal. And on this mixer, I found actually, the one I did have them placed you know, nicely in the canal, I actually needed to turn the volume down compared to my Sennheiser HD25s and my Bayer Dynamics. So that's, that's a bonus. They can really, really deliver some volume. Um, so I'm not knocking them. I'm not saying no. Quality wise, they're absolutely awesome. Whether I'm going to be able to use them on the night in the live environment, I, I can't afford to lose that bass. And last time I played at the Marshall Arena in 2023, the monitor stacks for the DJs, both side of you, left and right, huge and deafening. One of the big advantages, I guess, of in-ear headphones is that they're supposed to block out the sound more. Cool, I get that. However, again, if you have been following my channel, you'll know that I've not been using the HD25s because literally one of the drivers went, it wasn't a cable issue. I tried every suggestion from the comments, so thank you for that on the commenting on the videos. Try WD40, try this, try that. I tried everything. <laughs> and, uh, no go, so I have just managed to um, buy a replacement driver. 30, 35, something like that. I need to fit that, so I'm just gonna sit and do that this afternoon. These are the old ones that you're looking at on here at the moment. So yeah, I'll pop one of them off and then try and run the cable through. There's a tiny groove in the headphone band because it splits on the HD25s and you kind of run the, the cable through that. I can see that's gonna be a little bit tricky, but I'm looking forward to doing that because I used these last year at both of the Marshall, did I? Yeah, I think I did. I'm sure I used them on the first one. <laughs> I used these. I definitely used them on the Halloween one, uh, Halloween event, and that's what I'm doing again this year's Halloween event. So I need to make sure these bad boys are up and running. Do that this week. 
So the next time you see me in the mix, I am possibly going to be wearing those. I might just use my Bayer Dynamics for now in the house and just make sure I don't damage them before the gig. But yeah, so love the in-ears quality. Just, just not sure that I'm getting the right fit in my ears. They're not custom made. They're literally just straight from the Shaw website. Thank you very much for following the channel. Thank you very much for supporting. Can't believe I'm over 2,000 subscribers now. The, um, the last raving mix that I put up, raving number seven. <laughs> wow, that blew up. Um, looking at the stats, it looks like it was on YouTube's homepage. So for any new followers, you're welcome. Thank you for joining me. Uh, let's get back to the mixes. <laughs> 